so this is my first gloving tutorial. I'm making this for a friend and anyone else who is interested in understanding the basics for gloving. I've been gloving for four years, so of course this is just my personal opinion. Um, everyone learns a different way. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and start off with a finger roll. My style is that I won't teach you how to glove if you can't understand the basic finger roll. You can't really do much with gloving if you don't understand that. So a basic finger roll, you start out with your hands here. It's really good to have your hands nice and flat, as flat as you can get them. And you want to make them really strong. A lot of people, when they start out, they go like this. That's bad. You want to straighten out your fingers and always keep right here, you can see it, connected. So we're going to start here and start with this finger. And it's just going one at a time, back and forth. It's really simple. It takes practice. Um, you know, it took me at least a few weeks just to understand that process, but that's because I'm a slow, slow learner. So once you go back and forth, you'll get in the rotation. Some people it helps if you curve, going up and down like this. It helps me anyway. Once you get that, you also want to do it from this way. As you can see, I'm still a little weak on doing it that way. But if you make the curve and make like a tunnel, it'll help you out a lot. Um, another thing for basics is understanding the figure eight, um, which is basically just going like this. It's a lot to do with your wrist. Um, a lot of people s turn it out. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with a uh, figure eight. So you're going to start here, and it, this hand basically is the leader, and this guy's going to follow. So if this hand goes down this way, this hand is going to curve and follow it. Right here, these two spots are always staying connected, just like I showed you on the finger roll like this. So when you start here, this is going to follow, always following. A lot of people make the mistake that when they first try to do this move, they'll put this hand down and this hand will go here. And that's automatically wrong because right here is not touching. So if you feel like you're getting lost, just stop, look at your hands and realize that right here needs to be touching, always. And once you get better, you can open it up, and then you can let go of that, and you'll understand it more. Um, stacking is also another uh, another kind of basic move to know. Very simple, easiest thing that you can realize. It's just going one on top of the other, therefore being called stacking. It's really easy. It's simple. You can go back and forth. You can go this way. You can go back. Like There's so many things you can go with it. Um, an easy stacking to learn is, I call it the flip-flop, I don't know what other people call it, but you go flip, flip, flop, flop, flip, flip, flop, flop. Um, kind of, maybe I turn to the side and show you a little bit better, you go flip, flip, and then obviously flop, flop. So the flop, you go to the side, the flip is on top of each other. So do that one more time, flip, flip, flop flop flip flip flop flop real simple you learn just like that um the last thing which is one of the hardest for me are tuts tuts go in so many different levels that it's so hard to explain at least for me there's king tuts that do this kind of motion there are the wave tuts which are really hard for me and then there's normal just box finger tuts what I'll go ahead and show you guys is the original normal tut, which is a box tut. So we'll start here like this. Thumbs will stay out. So if I'm here on the side view, it'll look like this. You go like this. The one thing I really understood about tuts is that you're always looking for a box. So go here, go down, this way, that way. If you haven't noticed, that entire time I was only moving one hand. So when I go back into this position, only this hand is moving. So one, two, three, four. So now the next time it's going to go one, two, three, four. See? It's always moving side to side. Um, tuts are just really hard. Uh, I have a really hard time doing them, so I wish you the best of luck. But that's as much as I can show you for a tut. Um, those are just really hard to do. So again, I'll show you one more time. Going one, just like this. 
the easiest thing to remember is that you're always looking for a box. I've had people sit there and tell me that tuts go into four motions, which is probably true, but I have seen or felt like some of the tuts that I do or seen from others are more than just four motions, but I could be counting it wrong, so I'm not entirely sure. So I'll just show you one more time, moving just your right hand, making a box. If you ever get lost in a tut, just look for the box or find your way back to the box and you should be just fine. Hope this tutorial helped you guys.